So in the last video, we looked at standout features one to five of ACDC Photo Studio 9 for the Mac. In this video, we're going to look at the standout features six to 10, starting with powerful search. Photo Studio has powerful search functionality where you can search for photos based on multiple criteria. You do this by dragging from the properties pane. To do a search, simply select any photo. In the properties pane, choose EXIF. To demonstrate this, let's drag the model property, which is currently set to Nikon D70, into the quick search bar. So we're going to be searching for photos where the model of the camera is a Nikon D70. As you can see, the criteria is automatically generated and the file list will be populated with the photos matching the criteria. Of course, you can edit the property manually by editing the text. You can also specify multiple criteria. Let's add a criteria to search for a particular file size in addition to Nikon D70. I'll go to the file properties, then I'll drag size and I'll manually update the size to two megabytes. As you can see, the criteria is automatically updated with an AND operator. That's the basic overview of search with Photo Studio 9. And of course, you can expand this to choose any combination of properties in the properties pane to do your search. In addition, Photo Studio also supports saving this criteria and you can do that in the Saved Searches section in the Organize panel. The next standout feature is Face Detection. You can use Face Detection to detect people in images you browse in view mode. The process is expedited if you have allowed Face Detection to finish scanning in Manage mode. You can assign names to the detected faces in view mode Naming faces will assist ACDC with recognizing individuals in future images. The more often a person is named, the more likely they will be recognized. Once you have named the face one or more times, ACDC may suggest this name in future faces. Another standout feature is people search. Once you have faces annotated, it's a simple matter to search for the photos containing a particular person by going into the Organize panel and clicking on the corresponding entry in the People section provided. The next standout feature is Calendar Search. Images with EXIF information are organized by date taken in the Calendar section of the Organize pane by default. You have the ability to change it to database date, file modified date, or file created date. You can browse your collection of photos and media files using the dates associated with each file. Dates are listed by year, month, and day with the most recent dates at the top. Each year and month can be expanded and collapsed. Click any date in the calendar to see files associated with the date listed in the list pane or command click a combination of dates, ratings, or categories to display the combined results. The final standout feature of Photo Studio 9 is slideshows. While organizing your photos is well and good, it's also important to be able to present your photos to anybody who wants to view them. Fortunately, ACDC Photo Studio 9 allows you to create an easy slideshow by clicking on the slideshow button. The effect is pretty good and you can change the transition effects. So there you have it. Those are the 10 standout features of ACDC Photo Studio 9 for the Mac. So do I recommend it? After using it for several months, I can say definitely. While it is not perfect, I have issues with the search, for example, because it doesn't have a proper GUI and you still need to edit the text manually in the text box. So it's not very elegant. At an $80 perpetual license, the app does what it is supposed to do. 
and it will help you find lost photos without breaking the budget. In my experience, it is better than other raw editors built in photo managers. So give it a try. If you use Photo Studio 9, I'd like to know what you think. Do you like ACDC Photo Studio? What other photo managers do you use? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.